All right, when you hear about the importance of voting, you might think of presidential elections or local political races, but you can also vote for local judges, something that not enough people may know about. And that's where the Judicial Performance Evaluation Commission, JPEC, comes in. And uh, the JPEC Executive Director, Mary Margaret Pingree, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. As well as uh, Chris Russell, you are the, uh, I guess, the, the, the evaluation analyst. Or, that's right. Is that right? That's okay. Right. Let me get the titles right. So first of all, what does JPEC do? JPEC is an independent government commission and they evaluate Utah's judges and then mm -hmm. shares that information with voters so that when they go to the ballot box, they have they can feel confident. They can be informed about you, the judges' performance. Why is voting for judges important? Maybe that's a basic question, but <laughs> I, I answer that for our viewers. Why is that important? Well, judges impact our lives in a lot of different ways. Sure. And I think there's a heightened awareness of that this year, both nationally and locally, but judges can impact voting rights, they can impact property disputes, they decide custody of a child. But the good thing about Utah and our system is that judges are then accountable to voters. So that's, that's important, you should vote on your judges. And I think uh, probably the vast majority of us, well, you get in the booth and say, I really don't know anything about this judge, and they just probably go, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Is that the case? Yeah. Well, I, I think there's a certain percentage of voters that do either all yes yeah. or all no. And the important thing to remember is that judges are individuals. Their performance is different. And you can see that if you visit our website, judges.utah.gov, you can see that their performance differs. They're good at some things, not so good at other things. So I would encourage voters to treat them as individuals rather than. Chris, how do evaluations work? And uh, kind of what kind of information do you gather here? Well, we gather uh, information on um, procedural fairness, mm -hmm. for one thing. I mean, we, legal ability, integrity and judicial temperament, administrative skills, those are important criteria that generally courtroom insiders, such as attorneys and jurors, give us. Mm -hmm. But we also have um, courtroom observers, which is a program in mm -hmm. which we recruit people, lay citizens from across the state, from all walks of life, and they especially give us a good feel for procedural fairness. Uh, which is basically, is a judge treating people fairly, uh, respectfully? Uh, is the judge neutral or does it appear to be neutral? Um, does the judge explain things clearly? Things of that nature. And so these observers go into courtrooms and watch uh, from a layman's, uh, layperson's perspective and uh, give us important information. Is this a gov government funded project? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's part of the state. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're a commission yeah. that's yeah. funded by the state. Yeah. Is it a um, is it, do you give a recommendation or are you simply just giving information and people make the decision on their own? We tell voters whether judges meet a minimum standard. Okay. So they, we don't say you should vote this way or you shouldn't vote this way, but we do say this judge met the minimum performance standards and we explain what those standards are. Ron alluded to this earlier, people who will go in and vote yes, 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 or no, 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 no. I got to say, one of my family members is one of those no, no, no all the time. <laughs> yeah. He's like, well, I just figure I'm safe doing that. Yeah. Explain why that, you know, whether that's a good idea or a bad idea or, you know, talk about that a little bit more if you don't mind. Yeah, I, I think it goes back to the process that we use in Utah. So mm -hmm. Utah is a merit selection, uses a merit selection process, which means that when a judge is appointed, the focus is on that person's qualifications for office. And it's a really rigorous process. It's difficult to be a Appointed to be a judge and there are um, the governor's looking the Senate has to approve a nominating commission is just scrutinizing scrutinizing a person's qualifications for office so if a judge is appointed their qualifications have really been looked at carefully so that's one thing to consider I was just going to ask uh, can you give us an idea of where most judges fall when they are meeting or not meeting criteria we have really good Utah judges, wouldn't yeah. you say, Chris? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. And, yeah. and most of them perform pretty well. The judges that you will see on our, wealth, on our website are high-performing judges. Um, sometimes we will do an evaluation and we will, well, what we do is we give an evaluation to every judge. We give it to them in the spring and they have a chance to look at that evaluation. Oh, hmm. And then they decide, do I wanna go on the ballot or do I not? So some of those judges decide not to go on the ballot. Maybe they, 
received poor performance scores and they don't want it to become public. So the judges that are on the ballot are those who have decided it's okay, you can put my you can publicly share my information because I'm going to be on the ballot. Has a judge ever been voted out? A judge has not been voted out. JPEG's fairly new. And so we've only been doing evaluations since 2012. Mm -hmm. And so the reason why judges haven't been voted out is because usually they self-select out if there's a performance I problem. See. Chris, you mentioned sort of that evaluation process. You talked about courtroom observers, mm -hmm. but you also mentioned sort of the inside information, the attorneys, mm -hmm. um, people. How, do you, are those surveys conducted or are they just give information whenever they want? Yeah, exactly. They're surveys. Mm -hmm. We send out surveys to court to uh, to uh, excuse me, attorneys, uh, jurors, uh, and court staff. Mm -hmm. uh, so a pretty so, broad spectrum there of everyone impacted by the judge yeah. in his courtroom. That's right. Or hers. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So those surveys are a big component of the evaluation. Uh, we also consider public comments uh, from the public, uh, but also courtroom observation is another uh, component. Uh, and so. Observers go in, they observe a judge, they take notes, uh, and then they compile a report, and then they send those reports to us, and eventually the commission will deliberate over the reports and read them and you know, make decisions, and then we send those reports to the judges and also publish them on our website so the public can see them. Okay, okay so where should people go before they vote where they can get all this information? Judges.utah.gov judges.utah.gov and we've got ballots being mailed out October 15th I believe so yeah. it's going to be coming, coming very up quickly on us. for people. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so yeah. much Chris Thank and Mary Margaret. Yeah, that's we appreciate it. Great information. A uh, lot of stuff I didn't know yeah, about. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Probably yeah, educating a lot of people this morning. Yeah, so. that's cool. Thank